Godzilla! And just like that, the plot thickens. Good evening, geeks, gamers, and blessed lunatics. I'm back. Maybe. We know one character has some sick parkour skills. Welcome to one of my favorite games of all time, and a unsung classic of the original PlayStation era, Legend of Dragoon. the extent of sending out a notice to people that just says chance of war more likely. drawing a sword against us? Hmm. Well, I drew a sword, so yes. <laughs> Dragon 
dragons play with their food in this game. And yes, before anyone even says anything, I acknowledge that the dragons in this game don't look like dragons. Not really. Bearbrand looks like a thrice pregnant playing praying mantis that got drowned in freaking turpentine. And survived. dragons play with their food, but they also get bored very quickly. Attention span of cats. What the heck was that? No, it's not. See? Not even the main character can believe it. Talking about Salus? Yes, that man is an anime protagonist. I joke, but along the lines of JRPGs, this is one that I actually... I, I don't do a good job of making fun of it, because the characters are actually more... better, better defined in this than most JRPGs. All right, now that we're through with all of the crazy story-based shenanigans, I can take control. get our first taste of the combat, which is really good. I, I really like the combat in this game. Uh, it is turn-based, so I go, and then someone else goes, and I go, and someone else goes, but the attack structure is more detailed than other JRPGs. Yes! Alright, so if you just hit the attack button and do nothing else, that's all I get. Quick slash and nothing else. But if I actually do what's right and use the addition system, I, I hit more hits and I do more damage. That's the entire point of this. When you attack, there's a, a big square in the center and a, uh, a thin square that goes out and rotates into the little square. If you hit the green button, it's green on my controller. 
button right as the circles align. It's a hit, and your attack continues. Or, not just a rumor anymore. the main character. He's like 20-something. So, basic stats, basic layout. We'll get more into it as the game goes on. Super, super sad music. We'll hear this throughout the game quite, a, quite often, actually. Dart is an anime protagonist. Proof number one. So powerful that his home village assumes a different outcome for this battle had he just been there to fight. What's wrong with Shana? Earth would an Imperial army want to take one girl from a backwater town? <laughs> now it's important to point out, this commander is not the same commander that we saw in the cutscene. Helena Prison. To hell! So the first time I ever played this game, I was a teenager. And, um... I couldn't help but chuckle that I got to play a game that had cursing in it. Yes. Yes. That tells you, oh, I missed it. That tells you a little bit about my upbringing. <laughs> that hell was a legitimate curse word. Yes. Yes. All right, there we go. I got it that time. And yes, every time a character finishes an addition, they say the name of the attack. Alright, so I'm in the red. I'm down to literally 10% of my health. So I can do two things. Either I can guard, which restores 10% of my health, or I can use a healing potion. Which restores half my health. Here. 
Now, in the future, if I do guard, not only does it restore health, but my next the next attack does half damage. That's gonna come up a lot later on. Yes. Double slash. Oh look, sometimes the bosses use healing potions. Yes! Double slash! Theirs is actually more of a healing Here. ability, not really an item. Yes! Double slash! Boom! Got him! Level. Now Dart is level two, and I learned a new addition, and I will be switching to that addition. Much better to demonstrate how additions work. You darn right, I'm gonna rescue Shauna. This is what's left of the village of Seles. This one? There it is. Da -da -da! Stardust number one. All right, so let's talk some things over real quick. First, I'll swap additions. So I've got double slash and volcano. I'm switching to volcano. Um, so my, when I gained a level, my health went up, went from 30 to 60, um, and then my basic attack, uh, stats went up as well, got attack and defense, those are physical stats, and then magic attack and magic defense, magic stats obviously, my speed stat, which never actually goes up or down throughout the entire game, each character that I will have in my team, has a base attack stat, and the only way to adjust that is by items, and there are very few speed-altering items in the game. Uh, you also have your physical attack hit percentage and your magical attack hit percentage. Those are how likely your attacks are to actually hit. Um, there are ways to increase those, thank goodness. And then all the way at the bottom is your physical attack evasion and your magic attack evasion. Now keep in mind, this is a game that was produced in Japan and then translated into English. So you'll notice a lot of the wording isn't necessarily syncing up. That's the reason. They, they, the, <laughs> the translations were a little floofy. Um, evasion is spelled with an E, not an A. Oh, and uh, I have on that, uh, that parchment, I have a of countdown for how many Stardust I have, which is important for later. I am not 
taking your orders. Only His Majesty Dole can order me. some very interesting characters in this game. Rugal is definitely one of them. How he can walk with so much mass. So these are supposed to be squirrels. <laughs> yes. I do want to buy something. Really, I want to sell something, and then I want to buy something. Uh, let's see, how many burnouts do I have? I've got three burnouts. I'll keep one of them for now. That's right, hold on. I need to actually use... Okay, so I need to use a healing potion because Dart is at nine out of 30 health. better off now. Let's buy some more healing potions. Nope, I'm good. I know how to use this stuff. Run, run, run! Alright, so... I found a box and another healing potion. So this is a typical encounter area. If you pay attention to the icon above my head, um, you'll notice that as I enter a location, it's usually green. And it'll steadily turn to yellow and then red. Once it hits red, I'm about to get an encounter. Yes. This is a Berserk Mouse. Oh. Six experience and six gold. That's actually a really, that's a really good encounter. Gold is your, is your money throughout the game, obviously. Um, that was pretty classic for RPGs in general. Um, but, um, it's really actually hard to earn lots and lots of gold. And, um, honestly, an encounter where you get equal experience to gold is very rare. Even with the boss battles, you usually only get a fraction of the experience in gold. Yes. Ah, he's gonna hit me with magic. Whoops. Yes. So like I said, Volcano, as an addition, is a much better uh, reference point for how additions work. Um, oh, look at that. So, the tree just gave me a pellet, which is that magic attack he just used on me. Um, if you pay attention as I'm using Volcano, um, each hit that I, that I use to extend the attack coincides with a square, you know, the outer square, coming into contact with the inner square. You're just timing so that you actually hit the button when the squares come together.
It's a hedge mage that's not a maze. All right, so we've got a Trant and a Chicken. Chicken is fast. Yes! Go! Volcano! You'll notice sometimes the enemies will uh, flash and uh, they'll have this net of, uh, of red sparks behind them. That's a counterattack. Basically, the enemy is about to interrupt your addition and hit that. When an enemy does that, you have to hit a different button to respond. Because if you don't, the addition will end, they'll kick you back, and you'll take damage. Like that! So, on a PlayStation controller, X is to continue the addition, and O is to respond to counterattack. Ba -da -da. Dark grew to level 3, so now he's a little more full. I'm not going to gain as, gain as many levels here. Uh, I try not to grind in this area. Um... It's a unidog! Dart is an anime protagonist. Proof number two. Story starts off with him reconnecting with a childhood friend of the opposite gender that he hasn't seen in years. So Dart and Shauna used to be friends. And then Dart left. How dare he? I joke. Yes. Go. Volcano. All right, so I gained a level, so my attack stat went up. I was doing four damage to the assassin cocks. Now I'm doing six. Yes. Go. Volcano. I don't know why I'm sitting here trying to explain to everyone how levels work in an RPG. If you're watching this, you know exactly how levels work. So apparently, I'm just being a conceited ass. Sorry. <laughs> I, uh, my emulator skipped a little bit. Oh no, it's just one Berserk Mouse! That poor mouse. Didn't even know what he was getting involved in. to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Blob. <laughs> Funny, Frugal's definitely not a wizard. When my buddy Ben, back, in, back when I was a kid, saw this game, and uh, he saw Frugal as a character, he called him a Frugal Chef. To this day, I'm not sure how funny it is, but he thought it was hilarious. Now you'll 
notice my icon is red. That uh, basically means I'm, I'm always capable of getting into an, an encounter. Good meat and fish. Sorfrugal will be happy, as opposed to bad meat and bad fish, at which point no one's happy. I'll inspect the load. Poorly. Dart is an anime protagonist. Proof number three. Enemies lose all competence when he needs to accomplish a goal. The guard is bad at his job. way. There is. Ah, another burnout. I'm not overly fond of the item-based magics, but they do have their place. low end of health. <laughs> I don't think I have seven healing potions. Ouch! I'm hurt. Guess we might as well demonstrate. Because I got enough. percent of my magic attack stat, and that was a five. What? Wow. Okay, that was like, dude, this is how you do damage. Man. I mean, I definitely demonstrated how the, the item magics work, but jeez. Just a delivery man! Yeah, you darn near delivered me into their hands! Dude, you've already made more noise than I am comfortable allowing you to make. That's why I'm talking to you! I'm gonna sell these stupid burnouts. And the pellets. Uh, should be good with that for now. Ah, yes. I want healing. Uh, I definitely want Angel's Prayer right now. Uh, for those of you who don't know, an angel's prayer in this game is the equivalent of a phoenix down in Final Fantasy. It revives dead characters. Whoa, not that one. Sorry. That is... That is my other save state. 
I don't want to lose that. Hey, get out of my way. Hi, dude. Sneaky, sneaky. Distraction. Alright, so Dart's not doing a lot of damage right now, but he will. Um, Volcano is a uh, is actually a really good uh, a really good addition for him. Um, it's high damage and low spirit points. Uh, spirit points will become important later on when we get to the actual Dragoon part of this legend. Um, but Volcano is definitely his best early game addition. don't get one that really compares until closer to the end of this disc. Oh, yeah, discs. So, this game, like a lot of really big ambitious projects had to be stored on multiple discs. So this is actually a game that has a four disc run. Four discs in its runtime. And uh, it's pretty long. Oh, I missed that last one. Uh, it's got about 60 plus hours of standard gameplay. And that's without uh, accounting for grinding and or uh, difficulties one might have getting through puzzle areas and stuff like that. Going up. Oh, uh, you know, I've never had someone come out of that door. That is weird. All right. Let's see if we can get both of them. Up. I love this game's soundtrack. There are a couple of a uh, couple of them that are annoying, but for the most part, it's just a really fun game. Really fun soundtrack. Really fun music. Wake up! <laughs> oh, I've never done that before. That was. That was good. Oh, all right. Yes. Okay. Good. Cutscene. Chef, he feeds things. Whoops. Pretty sure 
there are some violations of the, uh, you know, international prisoner of war law. Sir Levitz! You! You broke out of the jail? Well, that's what happens when you leave him his spear! I really hate this line. Is this civil war? Yes, it's civil war. The entire continent's been in civil war for years. I mean, at this point in the story, you don't know that particular detail, but I, I know it. I've played this game a bunch of times. And so that line really doesn't make sense. I cannot stand his last name. Lavitz Slambert. Lavitz is an anime best friend. Proof number one. Meets the main character, initially suspicious, and then immediately fights by the protagonist's side, sealing the two in eternal, unbreakable camaraderie. Boom! Now we have two characters! And yes, they have three, but that's, that's okay. <laughs> now, Lavitz is gonna take a lot less damage than us, because he's got better armor right now. He's also got higher physical defenses in general. And I'm kind of amazed that he actually went first of the two of us because he's got the second slowest speed stat of every character that's playable. So here's I can tell the way speed works in this game is you start the match with um, uh, like a speed count equal to your initial speed, and then everyone's speed increases to 100 at the same rate. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know how it works, per se. I just know that Lavic's speed of 40 is terrible, and Dart's speed of 50 is average. Missed it. Stop focusing on Dart! Jeez! The Wardens have it in for Dart! Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> uh, Dart needs all the healing potions. We did it! Vague.
together. <laughs> ah, no, no, get out of the way. No, <laughs> tagged on it. I'm trying to avoid having another encounter in this section. No more encounters until I get Shauna. Well, I mean, there's the counter encounter right before Shauna. Uh, I'll just guard a couple of times. Give Lavitz a chance to shine. And they went for dark. Again. Uh, forget that. take more offense at Dark breaking into the prison than they take offense to Lavis breaking out of the prison. Hey, they went for Lavis! It is absolutely hilarious to see Magic do so little damage to him this early in the game. Because, so here's the thing. Dart is pretty average in terms of stats. Um, I think they did that because you 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 can't change Dart. Dart is on your the entire game, so he just needs to be average, not super good in one way, not super good in, that, in any other way. But Lavitz, on the other hand, is very physically built. Like, he's got high physical attack, high physical defense, and low uh, magic attack and low magic defense. So, the fact that Lavitz is taking less damage from magic right now than Dart is hilarious. <laughs> Of course, I know why uh, Lavitz has higher armor. Um, Lavitz is actually decked out with the next level of armor up from Dart. So, natural stats notwithstanding, uh, Lavitz is just better equipped. But, Dart just gained a level. Of course, with Lavitz's high physical stats, it also comes with it a very high health stat. Um, Dart just gained level 4 and went up to 120 health total. Lavitz is still at level 3 and already has 100. Look, a random key. Wait, 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 hold on. How do you know this is the key that actually goes to Shauna? Oh, the key to Shauna's cell. Ooh, good question. Shauna first, questions later. All right, so... Unlock the door. Which way do I go? Do I go left? Do I go right? I think I go right. Hmm... No, 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 no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, no! I did it! I went through! <laughs> oh, oh, there we go! 
We're, yes, we're from Basil. Let's do it! Only three? Go! Volcano! Boom! There we go. Now we're getting some Dark one shots the warden now. Yeah, that's right. In the face. Dancey, dancey, choppy, choppy. Yeah, and see, there, there here's where Lavis's speed shines through. Uh, or I guess dulls through. Uh, that warden got two attacks before Lavis got two attacks. I forgot how, how much gold you get early game from these wardens. So many questions. Is that you? Is that me? Is that who? Got more guards coming. Guards are coming back. She fixes her hair. Come and get it. Helena Guard Souffle served up on a silver platter. What I mean to say is your goose is well and truly cooked. Yes. Wondering, yes, Shauna is about to be the third position. Yes. Whoops. Wrong decision. Go. Apparently, I really wanted to kill this guard. Now, it may seem silly, but completing additions, like actually getting the character to scream the name, is important later on. Oh. 
Okay. That, okay, it's the, it's the late 90s. Just forgive the game for... for Please forgive the game. Women survive shit like this all the time. The game has no idea what it's talking about. met her again five minutes ago. You don't know how much she's changed. <sighs> Say that again? Mm. I'm not talking about that rat after that. What? WHAT DID YOU SAY?! DON'T LET THEM OUT ALIVE! Wait! Almost forgot! Most important thing, don't kill the girl. It's an order from His Majesty Dole. If you fail, I will behead all of you! Red one, I'll get you! I might as well dye everything red with your blood! <clears throat> alright, well, now that I have all three characters... I can go find all these hidden chests. And I have absolutely no problem with continued encounters. Um, because... Shauna needs experience. Shauna needs levels. Alright, alright, come on. Um, Dart's at level 5, Lavix is at level 4, Shauna's currently at level 3. And there is a portion of the game later on where Shauna cannot be used. And as such, Shauna tends to fall way behind the levels of all the other characters. So I tend to keep her on my team pretty much permanently right up until that point. And while most people... Okay, so Sean is a really rough character to keep on the team. Her physical stats are abysmal. She's got a bow and arrow, so there's not really any, you know, advancement to her tactical abilities that you, you, you can't really make her better at all, um, other than giving her a new bow. And the new bows, I mean, they only do so much for her. Um, so she's basically the most useless tactical character, other than I really enjoy using her arrows to kind of spread damage around kind of weaken certain enemies while I focus on others. And then use her to take out enemies that have been weakened almost to death by another attack. Yes. So for example, that, that was bad. Um, yeah, we'll want to spread damage around on this one because I screwed that one up. Never mind. Okay, so, Lavix is going to take this guy out. Um, Shauna can do 5 damage here. And then, depending upon who's the next attack... Okay, so, Dart will take out this Warden. One shot, one kill. 
And then no matter what happens, Lavitz or Dart will take out this last guy. Or, you know, Shauna can get a kill. That works too. One more in can- oh wait! My bad, Lavitz is still- Alright, so... Going down... Going in here... Alright, so I've got... Yeah, here we go. Oh, poor guy. There we go. I got a spark net. Lovely. Sparknet is a another magic item. Oh yeah. I did a full rotation of that without getting into a single contact. No encounters whatsoever. That will not be the case down here. So, yeah, by the way, the shiny balls of light save, st uh, save spots. So in here, we'll encounter. Hi guys. I'm pretty sure there's only one soldier per encounter in here. Yeah. mentioned that Shauna has pretty much the weakest physical stats in the game, but she has some of the highest magical stats in the game. Um, both magical attack and magical defense are through the roof for her, which is one of the ways she's actually extremely useful in this game. Outstanding magic attacker. Admit what? What? Now, the magic attack is usually not all that beneficial until later in the game, because, well, none of the characters have learned their magic spells yet. But the magic attack stat is used to determine damage for the stored magic attacks. So like Burnout and Sparknet, they will rely on the user's magic. So if Shauna uses one of those attacks, um, it does a lot of damage. Now, boom. Shauna gets a leather jacket instead of clothes, and she has a much higher defense stats now. <laughs> we sneak, yep, we can sneak right by this guy. <laughs>
Uh oh. All right. Give me a second to check something because I've got something on the pot, on the stove that I need to check on. We will continue momentarily. All right, I'm back. Probably should have checked on that sooner. Oh, thank goodness. Yep, it's me. Plus two. Alright, so... That's right. Sell the spark net, and you know what? I never use charm potions. So, I will... Sell that, too. Charm potions resets your, uh... Your encounter icon, so that you're less likely to encounter um, enemies in a wide area. So you are the red one acting like a prince. <laughs> then what? What? What the hell kind of answer is that? <laughs> there is one answer. You and the leader of the knights are feet for the pet. After I mince you up. <laughs> so he's a psychopath. You have such a calm face. Or are you paralyzed from fear? No, I just gave them the order. <laughs> I don't know. Emperor Dole said to just bring that girl back. The order was so trivial <laughs> that I added the one about annihilating sailors. Very true. All right. So, this is our first major boss of the game. Um, I will admit to have had a uh, full team sweep before, but uh, that's not gonna happen this time. What the heck, dude? <sighs> okay, so usually you can just, you know, point Shauna at, you know, the big bad and have her whittle away at the health. Didn't happen this time. are actually higher health than the ones we usually encounter. Only slightly. Can we now? Yes, we can! Just gotta point Shauna at Frugal and the other two guys can take care of the Wardens. Yes! Wow, that didn't really do much to Shona. Okay, I lied. <laughs> Apparently, I was just gonna shoot whatever Shauna wants to shoot. There we go, see? Now we're starting to see Labbits take extra magic damage. Wow. 
And, uh, yeah, Frugal just casually threw a boulder. That's a thing. Now... Well, now Bane's gonna take a lot more damage to actually kill. Yeah. The power-up is gonna reduce physical damage to him. damage being delivered to that guy. I feel like I can pass off as a pro wrestling move. Who think darkness is your app? Yeah. So, we have no more wardens to worry about, we can just deal with Frugal. You know, for a guy who tried to convince his guards to not kill Shauna, um, I don't think it was wise of him to throw a freaking boulder at her. don't like Dart's face. Alrighty. Alright, we are in the yellow. So, Frugal is below his half health point. And another rock to Dart's face. <laughs> that... I feel like that should have done more damage. <laughs> Then again, maybe that's not actually a club. It does kind of look like a giant leg of ham. We're in the red, we're in the red! Almost there, almost there we go. Boss battle, done. The frugal chef has been sliced and diced. Minced, as it were. Level five for the whole party. And Lavitz has learned his second edition. Spinning cane.
Is he immortal? <laughs> no, but it did look like he just threw a Donald Trump hissy fit. Get on the horse. I, I, it's hilarious that they call these horses. Bastard! Keep them from going even if it costs you your life! that move should only work in a Fast and the Furious movie. Bring her back here or you will be dead! And you? When did you sneak in here? Wait! No, I'll bring back the girl! You go too! Dark, sinister man in the background. Pulling strings. Sounds fun. The plot thickens. I feel like the only thing this game does for like the first disc is thicken the plot. But I think that's enough for this run through. Until next time, Kaiju Knight is out!